right, so I'm going to do a short one today. Um, it has a lot done on it, but it's not particularly complex or um, bizarre. The only thing that I will walk you through is getting rid of this little spot here. But other than that, um, yeah. All right, so to start, I did all my usual things. I turned it down to, not down, but turned it over to a linear response. Um, in the curve, blends out the curve, then the auto adjust, which is levels and rotation. Then I came in and I did the crop. Again, not not a crazy crop, but not you know, not small either, um, or insignificant. And from there, I tagged in my radial, which on this one, it's really just. It's quite, um, it's quite subtle, uh, you know, overall. I mean, it definitely shows up, but, you know. And then I went to the eye, dodged that to start. That's nice little tick up. Then I was able to do the brightness, which really brought it up. And um, with that, I tagged up the... Um, the dehaze a bit and the saturation of it was just made it a little bit browner a little richer you know um, but chickadee have fantastic iris and it's usually easy to pull them out um, without making it look strange which is nice and then um, here along the bib and the top of the head the cap um, we went through with the um, recover shadow and the brush and so you can see where I masked it but that has a nice effect and so we've got way more detail in the blacks here which is nice um, then here the highlight recover I'm not even sure that it did all that much honestly in fact I don't think it did so you can see where I did I tried to put it on but Unless I start screwing around with the brightness, which obviously I don't want to do. It's not going to have that much of an effect on this one. Um, then I decided I was going to um, take the streak out. I don't know what it is exactly. It may have been a bug or something just zipping along. If that's the case, it would have been, had to, I mean, really just bad out of hell style. But, you know, so essentially you just take the heel brush. And you can see where I've used the heel brush and it just, it figures it out based on the pixel and the um, shading, the exposure, all that type of stuff. And it heals it out. And it's, it's really quite effective for some things, especially that. And if you have a nice wide feather on it and you go slowly, you can't even tell that anything's happened. Um, now, if you tightened it down and there was a sharp edge on it, you almost certainly would be able to. And then I had this little tiny bit here that was left over from the healing that just wouldn't go away. I think, again, because it's matching pixels from another place automatically with the AI. And so all I did was select this is my start point for the clone pixels. Move it over here very lightly. Again, if you really wanted to get in and pixel peep, you can still see the little bit of a streak there, but if you're at a normal viewing distance, it doesn't even register, so. And then finally, I went into the color correction. You can see we've got some cast here and here and down on the tail. And so we did the initial which is a desaturation essentially and that's it and um i wasn't really all that happy with this right here i thought it looked gray and blonde flat so i um selected this okay all along here then we hopped over into this area i changed the hue significantly um to 
warming up, took the green out the last little bit, and it matched the tones with um, the buff here. So it ended up working out in that sense. And what we're left with is a finished product. So in any case, um, I hope you enjoyed the, you know, the, the brief walkthrough. As always, I'll run this through Topaz, and um, it will be available. The high-res photo will be available on uh, my Flickr page. And um, in any case, I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right.